40 years later and you're still talking about this case. Sorry, what was that? I said 40 years later and you're still talking about this case. Why? Ketchup is dead. I'm glad she's dead, but I didn't do it. Nobody here is saying you did. I know, but I know how these things work. You make your documentary, Reddit gets riled up, and then Joe Exotic ends up in prison. I know how these things work. Whatever, just, just, just doesn't matter. Do your thing, do your thing. How she ended up with someone like that. I agree, she should have made better choices. But she should have never been killed. I love ketchup, but I wouldn't want to see it on a Chicago dog. Ever. It's just not right. My name is Hot Dog, and in 1983, I was wrongfully accused of murdering ketchup. Chicago is known for many things. The Cloud Gate, the skyscrapers, the homelessness, the deep dish pizza. But Chicago puts its name on the thing it may be most proud of, its style of hot dog. Perhaps the most exciting culinary export of Chicago's culture is indeed the hot dog. You've got the poppy seed bun, the mustard, the relish, the onion, even a little, even a little celery salt if you have the time. <sighs> yes, that's what makes a Chicago dog a Chicago dog. I was born and raised in the Chicago area. I never lived anywhere else. 28-year-old Hot Dog was starting his life in the food industry service at ballparks. His main job had him working games at Wrigley Field. His real dream, however, was to be a stand-up comedian. I'm lucky I'm so hot. If I weren't, I'd have to believe that true beauty comes from what's inside. <laughs> what's inside? I'm a hot dog. You don't want to know what's inside me. <laughs> you guys have been a wonderful audience. Good night. My life used to be so good. There's only so much stand-up material a hot dog can do, but uh, I didn't have much competition in the hot dog comedy space, so I was definitely going places. And I was in love. Hot Dog and Ketchup had been dating for a few months. One day, Ketchup disappeared into thin air. Back in the day, we couldn't track our kids' cell phones, so when I hadn't heard from her for a week, I reached out to Hot Dog about it. Hot Dog wasn't saying much. He only really said he hadn't heard from her for a bit either. So I did the only thing I could do. I called the police. Ketchup's mother called police to report her daughter missing. The Chicago Police Department began a full-scale manhunt, but it didn't take long to find out what had happened to Ketchup. When they found her body, I was beside myself. Who would do such a thing to a sweet, innocent condiment? Of course they suspected me. Right from the get-go, they always put the relationship under the microscope when the sauce goes missing. Hot Dog was taken in for questioning the night her body was found. When was the last time you saw ketchup? It was about a week ago, maybe six days. She said she was going out to get some onions. She never came back. She was going to get onions, or she said she was going to get onions? She said. So you didn't believe her? No, I don't. Where do you think she was actually going? I think she was going to see fries. They say ketchup goes on everything. On this particular night, it was unclear if ketchup was telling the truth or if she was headed out to rendezvous with a secret lover. They had me on motive. I told them I thought ketchup was cheating on me and I told them I had a friend that saw her in salad, dressing. They grilled me hard after that. We hear from your close friends that your relationship may have gotten heated at times. What is this, marriage counseling? I'm just trying to get a fuller picture of your relationship with ketchup. So I hit her a little bit and had to run her under hot water every now and again. Everyone does that. You can see how it's hard for me to not think you're the one who did it. You want to know what I think? Sure, what do you think? I think there are certain people out there who don't want us together. I think this was a recipe-motivated crime. It's a strongly held notion in Chicago that ketchup and hot dogs do not belong together. 
It is a belief held by even the highest seats in the government. Absolutely no way. Ketchup does not belong on a Chicago dog. That is blasphemous. I could see someone <clears throat> killing over that. Personally, I love ketchup, but I wouldn't want to see it on a Chicago dog ever. It's just not right. Do you still believe that someone murdered ketchup to keep you two apart? Oh, I don't just believe it. I know it. And it wasn't just to keep us apart either. It was to send a message. We don't like your kind. There's hot dogs and ketchups in happy relationships all over the world. But not for me. Not for us Chicago dogs. Hot Dog was charged with first degree murder, but the charges were later dropped due to a lack of evidence. The police could not prove that Hot Dog was the one to deliver the crushing blow to Ketchup. I never should have been a suspect. Somewhere out there, the killer is still at large and they got away with it. And I've been cast as a murderer. I was never convicted, the charges were dropped, but no one will look at me the same way. I still work at Wrigley for 45 years. You'd think I'd have graduated to bigger, better things, but nobody will even touch my resume. They all know me as the hot dog that murdered ketchup. You uh, haven't really expressed any sadness over ketchup's death. She broke my heart. I saw a future with her. But she was out gallivanting around the town with all these other guys. I saw her with mac and cheese at the same time. I loved her. I don't miss her. Someone else was going to get her, but it obviously wasn't going to be me. We're done here? We're done here. Some maintain to this day that Hot Dog murdered Ketchup. Hot Dog maintains his innocence. But one thing is for sure. Some 40 years later with no evidence surfacing, the case has turned cold and will ultimately remain unsolved.